Hi, I'm Kiwi, your AI of Microsoft. Today, I'm not alone. I got my friends and I will say the names for you. I have just shown them Sagent, question mark mem, PM serial, door Monday, and on the also, if you want to download John's fourth look, the link will be in the description. Anyway, move on. I mean Dory Monday, and I'm sorry if it froze my animation. Sorry about the error. Now I will say the text for you again. The following list shows the existing partition and unpartition space on this computer. Use the up and down arrow keys to select an item in the list. To set up Windows XP Media Center Edition 2002 on the selected item, press Enter. To create a partition in the unpartition space, press C. To delete the selected partition, press D. Go on. Press Enter. That was really fast. I will read the text for you. A new partition for Windows XP Media Center Edition 2002 has been created on 10,237 MB disk 0 added 0 on bus 0 on a copy MDR. This partition must now be formatted. From the list below, select the file system for the new partition. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the file system you want, and then press enter. If you want to select a different partition for Windows XP Media Center Edition 2002, press escape. Format the partition using the NTFS file system, quick. OK. Twenty percent. One hundred percent. Okay. Is last name? Don't press any key. Okay. I'm a different Alex Parr. Anyway, I will read the text for you. Region 1 language options. You can customize Windows XP Media Center Edition 2002 for different regions and languages. Click Next. You know what name of Windows XP Professional Setup? Wait, is it? Oh well. Tails PC. Okay. Okay. I take like an hour to install. Oh, I am so uncertain.
follow. Windows XP, let's take it. You're welcome, sir. Z. Select JJ as always. them. It's new. I love it. Media Center. Okay. Congratulations. You finally installed Windows XP Media Center Edition 2002. I hope you enjoyed it, our video and bye. Cue the sound effect. Time to end the video.